A tornado uh, it here was in a, Oklahoma? It was a brief, weak tornado. It was a little spin-up, so we call a bookend vortex. It's a uh, mesocyclone. It's very small and weak. It'll be on the north side of a complex. There's limited instability down south today, but there's what we call high shear, spin in the atmosphere, but that's what is such a main part of why tornadoes form okay. is the spinning in the atmosphere sometimes versus big heat and big humidity. And it is muggy down there. So anyway, uh, this was uh, the first picture at mile marker 60. That's going to be just to the northwest of Sulphur there from Chris Stapp. Hang on a second here. You can see the cone. Let me show you this. This just happened just a few minutes ago. So here's the cone. This is I-35, right? Northbound, southbound I-35. There's the cone right here. There's the tornado. Let's go to the next picture here, and I'll show you this. Look at that. That's pretty legit. It's small. It's weak. It's an EF0, but it just goes to show you what a little bit of spin will do in the atmosphere. And again, these storms are not severe. Not crazy wind, not crazy hail, but enough spin going on. And look at it, cross I-35, there's your condensate, there's your tornado from Chris Staff, I'll mile marker uh, 60, that's gonna be 60 miles north of the Red River, uh, north of Ardmore on I-35. Wow, that escalated quickly. All right, back to Lynx One, rainfall amounts this week. One, two, three, four, five, six inches of rain. We've had pockets of six inches of rain in the north, a couple out west, four to five, and over four inches now west of Ardmore. So, man, some good rains for sure. Eastern Oklahoma, they've had some. They'll pick up this wave as we get into this evening. So there's your wave number two or your storm number two, that energy that's coming out right now. But it's mainly light rain, moderate to heavy rain down south. Oklahoma City to the north is light rain. Canadian County down to Chickasha, light to moderate rain there. And uh, again, as we pan to the metro here, it's all good rain. But we'll pick up another quarter of an inch out of this. You'll pick up a little bit more down near Shawnee and Meeker. This is going to be moderate to heavy rain here. So you'll pick up a good solid half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch down in this zone. But uh, for the metro, quarter of an inch. Edmond, Piedmont, Yukon, Mustang, Moore, Norman, light rain, no severe weather. And up top, down south, this is that line that came right through sulfur. You see this end here? I'm going to focus in on this. The north side, right here, how it kind of builds in and right there. We were watching it earlier, but uh, it's, it's not very strong at all. But right here, the little, little area of low pressure right there. And that's 60 miles north. So it's going to be south of Winniewood is where that circulation crossed uh, I-35 racing off to the northeast. Wow. Welcome to Oklahoma. Here in Oklahoma City, we're cloudy, 66 degrees, a south wind at 16 pressure this hour. Uh, it is on the rise. Our humidity about as high as you can get, 96%. All right, where it's raining, where it's cloudy and rain and all that, we're in the 60s. Where it's not raining so much, you're in the 70s. And we've been there pretty much all day long. So this is a storm that's coming through right now with this wave of rain and some thunderstorms down south with gusty winds. That'll move out tonight. We get a break tomorrow. And then our next cold front comes in on Friday. Slight chance of rain Friday. The next system comes out on Saturday. Really what's going to happen is we get the cold front that comes through for Friday night and Saturday. We get the jet stream overhead. You get overrunning. You get clouds. You get rain. You get drizzle. You get an indoor day. That's Saturday. And then Sunday, energy comes in here from the northwest. The main system comes in here. More rain, more drizzle, and the Arctic air is moving in here, so we're turning sharply colder. When you get up Sunday morning, the barn door will be left open, and it will be cold. Here comes that Arctic air coming in. Again, Saturday night, Sunday morning, it comes barreling through here with a driving north wind, and it will get your attention. Another surge of Canadian slash Arctic air moves in here for uh, Tuesday, Halloween of next week with more wind coming in from the north. This evening, the rain will end the next couple of hours in Oklahoma City. Then after 7 o'clock, it's a 30 to 40 percent chance of rain in the metro, but it will continue into eastern Oklahoma. Overnight tonight, rain in the east, slight chance for showers in Oklahoma City. The rain will just keep pushing east. Lows tonight, low to mid-60s. And then for tomorrow morning, rain into eastern Oklahoma will come to an end. Highs tomorrow, upper 70s, still windy, still warm, still muggy. And then for Friday, the first cold front moves in, highs in the 50s and 60s. And on Friday, best chance of rain, southern, southeastern Oklahoma, 20% chance for a shower in Oklahoma City early afternoon. High Saturday, 40s in the north, 50s in between. It'll be chilly Saturday with the clouds. And look at the chance of rain Saturday, 60 to 70% chance of rain and drizzle. Look at Saturday night and Sunday, some light ice and sleet in the northwest, rain elsewhere. 
Hang on, tie this one on because we're bringing it in. Here comes the cold, here comes the Arctic air. Cold and windy on Halloween, oh boy. We'll be back right after this.